Hi guys, today I am going to do some swatches for you of the Natasha Denona's new Rocks Up palette. I received my package yesterday, I didn't get a chance to do the swatches yesterday, I haven't even opened it, I just basically opened the package to make sure it's the right thing and I wanted to show you how well packaged the, the palette came from Natasha Denona directly. So I highly recommend when ordering to order from Natasha Denona because they really, they use this huge bubble wraps and even the package has bubble wrap inside. And then it has extra cardboard. I'll just take it out. I think this is my invoice. Oh, how sweet. This is so cute. This is just something I didn't expect. An extra mini shade. And then you get the palette in a box that has extra padding inside. I'm sorry, my lighting isn't as usually as I'm shooting somewhere else today because... I don't have my usual setup available for me but I just wanted to share this whole experience of unboxing take everything away that's what the box looks like so before we get into the swatches I do want to mention that I do have a discount code that you can use to get 15% off and the discount codes now apply to this palette as well. It didn't at the beginning of the sale for this palette. So you can just add Stella to your discount codes. If you haven't used it before, you have to be logged in to use it as far as I know. But then you get 15% discount on purchasing this new palette. I do have an affiliate link in the description box with the discount code. So feel free to use that and I do get a small percentage of commission if you use the affiliate link to purchase your palette. It's just a plain purple box. And at the back it has the color name details and it shows that it's made in Italy. And that's what the palette looks like. It doesn't have any multi-chrome or anything it's just plain purple but it has the same wavy indent that the golden palette has I don't know if you can see it that molten look and then the moment I have been waiting for because I'm super excited about this palette there's your shades Oh, it's beautiful. It's not quite as purple as one would expect from a purple palette. I mean, if you close off these shades, it's actually quite pinky neutral. And it's not... I just lost the light. So sorry for that. I hope this lighting is enough. I think that the colors in here are not as extremely pink as everybody claims it to be at first glance they don't look as pink to me okay so i am going to do swatches from top to bottom column by column until i'm at the end starting with dixie eclipse and sweet pea that's what the colors look like on my fingers and that's dixie eclipse swatch is a bit patchy And sweet pea. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, 
Okay, next is Jacaranda, Star Go, and Concord. That's what the colors look like on my fingers. Okay, there's Jacaranda. Also a bit patchy. Stargo and Concord. Those two swatched beautifully. I like those colours. Okay, next we have Flutter and then this mixed shade Bolt and Velour. They look like on the finger and flutter bolt and velour so they swatched beautifully okay next we have phoebe heather and brink what they look like on the finger and very pretty okay maybe we have phoebe could go a bit further heather that one swatched okay and brink all the shimmers so far swatch nicely. Lastly, we have Charisse. No, sorry, Regal. This one is Regal. This one is Charisse. Makes more sense. And this one is Orchard. That's what they look like on the finger. Okay, there's uh, Regal, then Charisse, and Orchard. Okay, those two swatched well for the mats. And as I said, all the shimmers seem to swatch nicely. I think these colors are very pretty. I honestly can't wait to do tutorials with them because these colors are really up my alley and I'm very very excited to start playing with this palette so if I give it an overall look I think that the range of colors are enough to do everyday kind of looks and more neutrally type of looks as well as some shimmery purple looks so there we go let me know what you guys think and whether you're just as excited about this palette as i am i just wanted to see what this retro glam palette single shade it's called flutter what the swatch looks like for that because um, i think it's a pretty color just excuse my nails they all broke last week so they look terrible let's just have a look oh that's pretty it's like a champagne gold almost oh i like that and then i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to see you next time bye